The accusations part was kind of confusing. Hey everyone, hope you had a nice weekend. Your boy Al is here with Spice and Wolf episode 23 review so let's go. At first we see Lawrence, Hollow, and Elsa join Sam and his group at a campfire. Sam reminds everyone that a shoemaker from Inverge Town was poisoned after eating Terrio Village's wheat. Lawrence tells Hollow the poisoned wheat is called Rydelia's Hellfire and was contaminated by a disease. Sam says a Terrio representative will soon arrive to return the wheat, raising concerns among the villagers, as they'll have to refund the money they earned from selling it, which they no longer possess. Lawrence adds that more people may have died from the wheat. The villagers grow suspicious, accusing Lawrence and Evan of conspiring against Terrio since Lawrence used the water wheel to grind his wheat into flour. Sam calms the crowd, urging them to figure out how to repay Enverge and gather what money they have left. Lawrence and Hollow getting accused was a bit confusing, because according to the timeline they arrived in Terrio yesterday afternoon, and it would take half a day's travel to go to Enverge from Terrio, so if you connect the dots there wasn't enough time for them to do anything, but I guess angry people can't think rationally. Next we see the villagers return home, and Sam invites Lawrence and Hollow to stay at his place for their protection. Lawrence and Hollow discuss the situation between Enverge and Terrio at Sam's home. Lawrence believes Enverge orchestrated the crisis and theorizes about the kind of deal they'll offer Terrio. Hollow suggests they seek help from Lawrence's merchant association, which Lawrence considers, though he wonders who will ultimately take the blame. Hollow proposes allowing Evan and Elsa to join them in their escape. Sem then arrives and asks Lawrence and Hollow to reveal their true identities. Lawrence reminds Sem that he already explained their reason for being in Tyr, which is to find the Diandran Abbey for their own purpose. Sem understands and asks Lawrence for advice and money, promising to guarantee his safety in return. This part was too ridiculous. I mean first you accuse some people, then suspect them, then ask them for advice and money in exchange for their safety, all this while knowing they are most likely innocent, like what the hell, is this some kind of joke? Or am I misunderstanding something? Moving on we see Lawrence agree to Sem's terms but asks for proper compensation if he helps turn the situation around, and Sem agrees. Lawrence shares his theory that Enverch's plans will not favor Terrio and that Franz's contract with Enverch could be at risk. Sem mentions that Elsa had previously suspected Enverch of shady dealings. Lawrence then asks Sem to take him and Hollow to see Elsa. Before entering Elsa's home, Lawrence gives Evan money to gain his trust. Inside, Elsa expresses concerns about her situation and discusses her backer with Lawrence. Lawrence explains why he and Hollow haven't escaped yet. Hollow tells Elsa she only wants to read a book hidden under the altar. Elsa then instructs Evan to retrieve the book. Franz is dead, and Enverch isn't really gaining anything from maintaining the contract with Terrio, so from Enverch's perspective what they are doing isn't something wrong. Also Lawrence agreeing with Sem was the best choice he could make at that point, because he needed to ensure his and Hollow's safety. Then we see Elsa tell Lawrence and Hollow that she won't influence their decision to escape, only asking Lawrence to share his merchant wisdom with her. Lawrence agrees, and when Evan returns with the book, Hollow takes it and rushes to Terrio's church. There, she asks to read it alone, and Lawrence complies, returning to Elsa's home. Elsa expresses concerns about food and wealth, but Lawrence advises against grieving. Overwhelmed by stress, Elsa faints. Lawrence and Evan discuss the escape plan, with Evan showing concern. Lima arrives and urges Lawrence to proceed with the plan. Evan leaves to convince Elsa. Lawrence returns to the church, and Hollow informs him she has finished reading. Lawrence then takes the book to read it himself. I'm not sure why this show tries to portray merchants as some sort of intellectual beings. I mean merchants are obviously very knowledgeable about anything business related, but other than that, they are just normal people. At the end we see Lawrence learn that Yuetsu was destroyed, but Hollow's wolf allies escaped. Hollow is relieved that they might have survived. She and Lawrence discuss their next steps when several Terrio villagers arrive at the church to capture them. Evan, Lima, and Elsa join Lawrence and Hollow, 
and Lima suggests they all flee Terio together. Elsa agrees to leave with them. Hollow reveals her wolf ears and asks everyone to treat what she's about to do as a dream. The group heads to the statue Elsa had previously shown them, using the underground passage to escape Terio. It's good to know that Hollow's friends and family are probably safe, but at the same time it's kinda bad, because Hollow will become even more unsure of what to do next, after she meets her friends and family. Nonetheless, this was a pretty nice episode with all kinds of things happening, and I'm kinda excited to see how all this will resolve. By the way, episode 24 is already out. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep me motivated to make more videos, and you can also leave a comment if you want to say something, because it helps me fight the almighty YouTube algorithm, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.